representing them. Alicia Bennett, Amanda Bjorklund, Soleil Diane, Elsa Eriksson, Amila Feldman, Engla Nilsson, Lovisa Nordenholtz, Julia Surveid, Vera Torstensson, Vilda Tumarila, and the reserves, Isabel Hetling and Moa Holmberry. Now this is where they need a positive beginning. They're starting where they were weakest in qualifying, only sixth best in tumbling. And it was this round where they faltered, the team round. Looking good so far, straight front walkout, handspring Rudy. Well, that's a different ball game. Yeah, that will do. That was a completely different team round in terms of the execution compared to what we saw in qualification. And that's the start they needed. They know it as well. <laughs> that, that's the most relieved jog back that we've seen all day. And sometimes you just get the luck of the draw, don't you? You can start with the one bit that went wrong in qualification, get it out of the way and go, right, now we're here properly for the final. It must have been playing on their minds, but you couldn't tell from watching that. Mila Feldman will get them underway. Round two for Sweden. Opening up with some round off flick double pipes. Good landings, good shapes so far. And it's five double pipes in fact. And then a huge full twisting double straight with a fall at the end. Well, the amplitude from Lovisa Nordenhold. Unfortunate that she had that uh, fall right at the end because the attack was sensational. I mean, the power that that gymnast has. Obviously, <laughs> difficult to control in that scenario. Alicia Bennett. Now Elsa Eriksson. And we start with a round of big double tuck. Close to the end of the track there, but she managed to land on the on the landing area. Big double straight. Another one just for good measure. And a third. And what a recovery that is from Bennett after the first tumbling pass. Yes, a correction from earlier. It was Bennett. It's uh, Lovita Nordenhold who's come sprinting down to celebrate with her. An old uh, problem of numbers one and seven looking quite similar. Sweden with the second best in qualification. got the senior finals tomorrow and the juniors have given their elder contemporaries a tough act to follow Sweden are next they're on the trampex this is where they were supreme in qualifying 16.25 the best we saw from anyone 500 stronger than the Danes they could really make a move with their performance here. So little Diane will start. Full half straight opening for the Swedish team. And the shapes in these full half straights are fantastic. Just some small steps on landing. But you can't ask for much better than that. Didn't that look lovely? You're right about the landing steps, but also to point out that just in flight at the apex, they really were 
clean looking, weren't they? Yeah, plenty of time to land. You can see they finished the twists well before they hit the mat. And that's something that's important and it's what the judges will be looking for. look to this Swedish team. It's Diane again. And again, these landings are just straight upright, completely finishing the somersault before landing. Two and a half twist. And a second two and a half twisting double straight, straight up in the air, straight back down. Fantastic landing. Well, that really was tremendous from Amanda Björkland and Alicia Bennett to finish that for Sweden. That's the most confident looking group of supporters. They're so calm, aren't they? And actually, it's interesting to see the dynamic in the team as well. We've seen smiles from these gymnasts as they're standing on the run-up area. They look confident. Mila Feldman is entrusted to start the final round. And she does well. Handspring straight half from the first two gymnasts. And from the third. Not too much distance on these, which is good to see. And handspring Rudy on the end. That's huge difficulty. The reaction of the Swedish team, they embrace each other in a circle, gallop their way back to the uh, backstage area. Well, Liam, I mean, there's little else to say. We've said it all. It was just brilliant, wasn't it? Yeah, that was fantastic. I think it was 18 out of 18 run, uh, yeah, runs landed. Uh, Here we go. Amidst the complicated mathematics, the drama of this final, we will now have a moment of compelling artistry from Sweden. But this doesn't just need to be artistic, it needs to be acrobatically sensational, it needs to be gymnastically tip-top. They scored 18.05 on floor in qualification. How high can they go here?
Difficulty uh, elements as well. Absolutely rock solid. On the arabesque, we didn't see any movement at all. Um, one possible issue is the five plus to win it, and they scored 18.05 in the preliminary round. Sing on Sweden's score. Now, have they done it? Have they done it? We are applauding to the The Swedish fans are celebrating. The Swedish gymnasts are in tears. They score 19.05 on floor. That's absolutely huge. 51.5 is their total score. The Swedes will be barring a mathematical miracle with this last score to come in, the junior European in champions. Sweden. That's your floor performance. I mean, Ladies Sweden is gentlemen. a great nation on That's floor in Team Jim. We all know well. that. That was a little special though, wasn't it? That floor performance was fantastic. Yeah, we talked about the, the dynamic execution, the amplitude and extension, the full body movement. These are all things that the judges are going to reward or at least not take deductions for and Sweden had it all in Team Sweden For Sweden it is gold and a brilliant floor performance to secure it. They went well beyond their qualification display. The fourth time Sweden have won this title. The bronze medalist, Higya Anna Stottish, Saga Asker Stottish, Magdalena Ena Stottish, Elin Johannes Stottish, Margaret Johan Stottish, Christine Christian Stottish, Elsa Sigmund Stottish, Victoria Vokes, Sara. The junior champions of Europe, Sweden. The national anthem of Sweden. Now free, sometimes known as the song to the north. Song to the northern.